happy Saturday everyone. It's a new week of vlogs. I'm already out and about because this weekend I think is going to be the last chill weekend we have for the next month. <laughs> so doing errands and house stuff this weekend because I think it might be my last opportunity to do that for a while. So today I'm out at Kohl's gonna do some shopping because they had a bunch of coupons come out and it's time for new work clothes again because seasonal change and I've got the same short sleeve work shirts or light work shirts that I've had for the past year. So gonna go in the flooded coals for the very first time. Pretty excited about it. And then yeah, lots of home stuff today. And I also think we're gonna finally play some classic today. So yay weekend. <laughs> Okay, so I definitely hit the jackpot in Kohl's. Definitely mission accomplished. I've got, I think, maybe five or six new work shirts, which is perfect. That's pretty much what I need. I just needed a bunch of new short sleeve shirts to wear so I'm not dying in the middle of summer. Accomplished that. Plus, I found two new bathing suit tops, which I desperately needed because most of my bathing suit tops are over five years old. So can get rid of some old ones, replace them with these, which they're really nice. I'll show you when I get home, but they're kind of like a sporty tankini style. So they're, they say you can go running. That's not going to happen. Any day valid sports bra if I'm going to be running. But for the beach, it's perfect because they're actually kind of like a sports bra style top. I'm happy. So I'll show you those when I get home. Okay, so I'm home. I'm also doing laundry, so there's no sheets on the bed, but I saw this shirt at Kohl's. I had to get the shirt, right? It's like sunglasses and cacti are my two things. So adorable little sunglass shirt. And then these are the bathing suits I was talking about. So it's got very much like a sports bra feel to it. And then the back is really cute. The back is like a tea back with a little mesh. Very cute. And I love purple. Purple's my favorite color. So there's that one. And then this one is, is even more using the sports bra. So it's got the sports bra top and then it's attached. <laughs> Foster, you're not to help. Are you, are you helping me model? I don't think you are. Ex excuse me. Scoot. Scoot. Scoot your butt. Thank you. <laughs> so it's got like the sports bra and then this little tank top. It's all attached and uh, only a little bit of the sides show. And then the back has the cute little detail on it. So I love both of those. And then I also found two pairs of shorts because mine desperately needs replacing. So I'm good for summer now. I don't think you're supposed to be up on the bed when there's nothing on it, are you? And yet, here all three of you are because it's almost time, isn't it? Are you trying to tell me something? Are you trying to tell me something? We know what time it is. I know. Let's all get off the bed. Come on. Good boys. Good boys. So we're at Mod. And I got their seasonal pizza called the Sophie. It's supposed to come with arugula, but I took that off and got garlic instead. That's Sri Rancha sauce. So sriracha and ranch together. Yum. Mike's creation. We both got white sauce for the first time today. Looks good. Now it's time to finally break open our copy of Clask. So if you guys missed my vlog from when this arrived, this was actually sent to me from the Clask company, Clask maker, Clask creator, something of that variety, and just asked if we wanted to play it. So we received this in the mail a few weeks ago and now we're going to finally get to play, but it's not sponsored or anything, they just sent it to us to play. So I'm pretty excited because it seems like it's going to be a magnetic version of air hockey or something like that. So here's what it looks like out of the box and now we're going to finish opening it. Here's our board. So Mike is reading the rules for us, but pretty easy. you've got, um, basically these are magnets. 
So I've got a magnet. This is magnetic. So when you just you start moving around, with magnets. I just don't know what we're supposed to do yet because I we haven't done, gone over rules. I've just been busy playing with the magnet so far. <laughs> All right, so we play one round. Going for round two now. I mean, it's off the board, so it stays off the board. Yeah. Okay. Good that they make it so you can't yeah, actually get into each other. It's mm -hmm. actually smartly designed. But I lost. <laughs> battery died right before our the end of our last match but it was an epic ending it was five to five and a pretty epic last volley on that five to five too and then I ended up winning with the match point on Mike because I ended up shooting two of those the white little puck things at him so he ended up losing because he had two white pucks attached to him so it was an epic ending and I was like oh dang camera battery it was a lot of fun. We really enjoyed it. It's fun because you learn the rules in like not even a minute. It takes about 30 seconds to learn the rules. It's very simple. And then each game is really fast. So I don't know. How many games do you think we ended up playing? Like 10. Probably, probably like 10. 10 yeah. Because they just go by so fast that you want to keep going. You want to keep playing. So lots of replayability. I think it would be fun if you're having like friends over because you could have friends like cheering you on and just take turns and... We like it a lot. The only thing we said was that we wished that the white ones, because they are also magnets, just had a little bit of a different color on it, so you knew which way to flip them up. But that was really the only critique we had. It was a blast, and we'll definitely be playing more of this in the future. So, really cool that they sent it to us, mm -hmm. and we really, awesome. yeah, we loved it. Like I said, hashtag not sponsored. Just, <laughs> just actually really like it. So they sell it at Target. I know that much. We'll definitely be playing it again. Hello everyone, it is Sunday and it is Mother's Day. So we are heading out right now to go over to Mike's parents' house to celebrate his mom. My mom will have to wait till I see her next in person. We had a phone conversation, but 
our celebration will happen the next time we see each other in person. So we're heading over to have some dinner. We've got this ready to give her. So happy Mother's Day. And here's all my children. I got two nice puppy mom messages, one from my mom, and then one from Lori from Disney in Ohio. She sent me a nice little happy dog mom day. Because you were definitely my child. Try mine. <laughs> He's not claiming you, Colby. I'm a single mother to you. <laughs> we have joint custody of this little one. But not you. No, you don't no, claim no, no. me. Wow. <laughs> you don't want me. You don't get my lovings wow. either. <laughs> wow. Denied. Plus she's like, it's okay. I'm fine being your only dog. Shut down. Oh wait. Oh no, here comes Ash. Okay. The I guess you can have him too. Hello everyone. Happy Monday. Monday is here. Hopefully this week goes by very quickly. Let's cross our fingers, everyone. So my Ipsy arrived today. So let's see what it looks like this month. Well, that's pretty cute. It's like passport stamps. And it's kind of a um, rubbery material as opposed to cloth this time. First item is a Trustique, I think is how you say that. Mini Matte Blur Stick. Blurring Primer and Shine Eraser. I have never used one of these before, but I'm definitely down to try it. See how it works. So I had a camera error, but the next item was this Nomad La Habana eyeshadow. Yeah. Ipsy got my memo that I love gold or shimmery things because it's a gorgeous gold shimmery eyeshadow. So very excited to try that out, especially since it's summer. These are my jam. We have some little box that I can't read through the camera. Okay, so it's this tiny, adorable little eye serum from Akar, I guess is how you say that. It's a nutrient boost eye serum. Definitely down to try that out. Nope, there's something in the bag. I bet you it's a brush. Aw, so it is an eyeshadow brush with beautiful little mermaid-like colors. Goes along with the highlighter brush that they sent me not too long ago. The Dead Sea Mud Mask Deep Skin Cleanser. Nice. This is a good size sample too. Very nice. Excited to try that out. I need to do some of my skin treatments from my last one. I haven't done those yet. So tonight for dinner, I am going to make this savory Dutch baby from Plated. Quite the strange name. I've heard of these before, but I've never had one, so hopefully it's easy to make. So there is the Dutch baby. It did actually rise. Pretty happy with it. Went ahead and put the toppings on. Looks good. Success. So there we go. Sliced into two pieces. Looks delish. Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. On my way to work. The foundation guys have been at our house since about 7 a.m. Starting to dig and fix our foundation. So that's exciting. And they should be there today and tomorrow and then hopefully uh, be done and our house be stable and all good things. So cross your fingers. What's wrong, Buster? You've never been outside ever? You've never been outside in your life? Oh my goodness, this is, the, this is the response because they've been locked in because the guys have been here. Mike's taking them out, but I just asked if they need to go outside and this is foster panicking. All right, here we go. Here goes, watch out for my feet. Here go the wackos. Making the turn. <laughs> Round two. Pasha's going to boss everyone around. We've all got lots of energy because we've been locked inside all day. Making another turn. Mm. Okay, lap number four. Oop, Ash got the corner on that one. Oh. Colby said too much. <laughs> and Foster says I'm going to boss all of you around. Like a jerk that I am. So here's the state of our current yard. 
foundation work. Um, yeah, they are, I guess, putting pillars or something down there. So they drilled out those. Michael said they were jackhammering and said it was wonderful. And they've been digging back here. And the whole front of our yard, as Mike put it, the front of our yard looks like it's currently World War One because it's just all trenches. <laughs> so day one is done. Hopefully they're done tomorrow. Foster, I'm pretty sure they could have hired you to do the digging for them. Pretty sure you're just as experienced as they are at digging holes. Right? So good evening. I am actually hanging out in my little office, getting ready area, and I've been playing bass guitar. Oh my gosh, you can tell. Look at my poor fingers. <laughs> oh, that's what it looks like when you haven't played bass guitar in a couple years and you decided to play. I don't have any calluses left and my poor little fingers are like on fire. But I thought I'd set up the camera and let you see me clunk my way through some bass guitar. Um, if you didn't know I played bass guitar, <laughs> I did at one point. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can claim I play it now, although I did better than I was expecting to, um, considering I haven't really picked it up. Maybe once or twice a few years, like, Mike's never seen me play it. I've just had it sitting here. Um, it was really something I did in college because I missed music and I was living in apartments and I could pick up the bass guitar and not plug it in or just plug it in with headphones and still have music because I had a piano at home and I always used to play piano. Obviously didn't have space for a piano <laughs> in my apartments. And um, I was in concert band and stuff, but I still wanted something just to play for fun. And so I decided to pick up bass guitar. So I played a lot in college. It was pretty much my ritual on weekends. You know, I'd play bass guitar. So I got decent, but that was 10 years ago now. So it's been a long time since I really um, got into it as my fingers can attest, cause ouch. I've been playing through Franz Ferdinand songs. Um, I was listening to their CD in my car today and that's what like decided to make me want to do this today is because I heard that album and it brought back a lot of memories of playing bass guitar. So I've been trying to play through them and some of it's muscle memory because I used to play them so much that they've come back to me a little bit. So I figured I'd uh, show you a couple of those, although the editing's going to be fun because that's obviously copyrighted music so I'm going to have to chop around it. And then I figured I might do Dave Matthews' Crash because that's an easy bass guitar song and maybe I can play it pretty well because it's easy. So here you go. Also appropriately wearing my Bill and Ted shirt for this. So Ooh. everyone meet Dave. This is my bass guitar. His name is Dave. Too terrible. It's crazy how much muscle memory works because I play the song a ton. It's one of my favorite songs to play on bass. It's Shiver by Coldplay. And pretty much immediately was able to remember the whole first like two bars. I kind of lost it when I got to the high notes, but remember the whole first section pretty much as soon as I saw the tabs, I was able to remember what it was and go right back into playing it. That's pretty amazing. The human brain is awesome. So, I don't know if I'll be able to play it fast enough to go with the song yet, but I'm gonna give it a shot. It's all my poor little hands, my poor little fingers, that's all they can handle. Hope you guys enjoyed a little bass guitar with Liz. I'm gonna go cook dinner now. Tonight we're gonna have the brown butter orchetta, spicy sausage and peas. We've had this one before and it was delicious. 
It's another one of those times where if you guys had smell o vision you'd be loving life because it smells so good because it has sage in it. Mm. Smells delicious. Very excited. Look at the steam. It's going to be delicious. Also, I don't know if you can tell, this is a huge portion. I gave Mike even more than me and there's leftovers for me to take for lunch tomorrow. Crazy. Briefly turning down my AC to show you. I don't know if you can even see that. It's currently 94 degrees. It's toasty. I feel like it's gonna be a really long summer, guys. This whole week, we're in the 90s. It's freaking hot. My hands are burning on the steering wheel. My face is immediately turning tomato red because my car is so hot. It's black interior. Gotta go back to, to hurricane speeds on my AC so I can survive. We had like crazy cold winter and I feel like we're gonna have a crazy hot summer because it's already worse than it was last year. So May last year was gorgeous. We had gorgeous days in May. We were outside using the like sitting around the fire pit, 60 degrees nights, not this year. We're in the 90s all week. So it's dry heat right now, but it's an oven dry heat. We'll see if it lasts all summer or if we go into humid territory because usually the more humid it is, the more the actual temperature drops. But Oi. So I'm home from work and I have another cacti haul for you guys. So first of all, the first two things are things that Mike ordered because we were, I don't know if I've already talked about it or if I've shown it, but we kind of reorganized the kitchen counters, or I shouldn't say we, he or reorganized the kitchen counters while I was at work one day. And so we kind of moved some things around. So in order to help with organization, he ordered these two items and He's so sweet. He chose cacti, cacti versions of the things he needed. Cactus cloth basket to put in with our organization. It's going to hold basically my camera, my camera like odds and ends. And then he also chose this little guy, which I think is going to end up over here. And I moved the little kitchen thing that Eloise got me and I think it's going to go right above the stove that says Liz's kitchen. So that way we can grab our keys or have any mail or coupons sitting right here instead of the basket on the counter. And he chose a cacti. It came with two little cacti keychains. How cute is that? So that's coming soon to a kitchen near you. And then I also got a little care package from my mom, which had these sunglasses in it. But the main reason why she sent the package was she saw this and had to get it for me. So it's a cute little cacti plate and super cute. Definitely going to be serving some summer treats on this tray. Hopefully my parents will be visiting soon and I can serve them something on it. So very cute. Hello everyone and happy Thursday. Very excited. I'm home from work. There's only one more day of work this week, which makes it excellent. And I had a really good day at work today for multiple reasons. It was a very good day. Of work and I feel like those are rare <laughs> not that I dislike my job it's just my job can be kind of intense and stressful so there are bad days and there are good days and then most of the time it's just in the middle like just getting my work done today was a very happy good news happy day very excited about it so I'm gonna change out my work clothes probably celebrate a little bit because I'm happy and Happy that tomorrow is Friday. There's only one more day of this week. Huzzah. Oh my gosh, I love it. Hakuna Mataka. And heart chungus. Very nice. So good. Sorry, we had to. We had to. Yes, my favorite margarita that they have. It's seasonal. Ruby red grapefruit. Yum. Mike got the swirl, also delicious. So I got the Baja tacos again. I got fish and shrimp this time. And Mike got this massive thing of food. Enchiladas, taco, so much food. Yum, Chewy's food coma time. But look at these boys. They're butt to butt. Hi, Bear. Do you love your brother? You love being so close to your brother. And Bean's in his little happy spot. Time for family snug time. I just wanted to show you 
I got the that elbow grease from Lush. Oh my gosh, Ash just tried to go under my leg. <laughs> Hi, does it smell good? Well, look how good of a job it does. Look at how shiny it makes my tattoo again. And Foster likes to lick my leg every time I put it on. But look how shiny and colorful my tattoo looks with it on it. So if you want pretty tattoos, I definitely recommend the elbow grease from Lush and Foster recommends it as well. Well, I was gonna film because it was 100 degrees and then it dropped to 99, but yeah, it's hot today. There we go. And it feels every bit of 100 degrees right now. It is hotsy totsy. So this is tonight's dinner. It's herb roasted pork chop with pot pan squash, green beans, and lemon butter. So here are the finished pork chops with our little veggies. They look pretty good. Here's version two because I forgot to sprinkle the almonds on top. Oh, hi. <laughs> what, what, what was that? What was that for, huh? Hmm? Huh? What? Oh, yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> no clue, huh? <laughs> yep. Totally innocent. Just send down the dinner. Jeez. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Looks tasty. Mike is playing some PUBG. So I figured I'd come in here to chat with you a little bit because he's uh, conversing and making sure he doesn't get shot. So he's kind of being noisy. So I figured I'd come in here and have a little chat. Uh, yesterday was a great day at work. Today was a little more stressful. Like I said, my job kind of goes up and down. But I'm really glad it's the weekend now and glad to be home and relax some. I think I'm going to play some Donkey Kong Country tonight. I mean, this isn't the cutest thing. This is what happens when I come in and close the bedroom door. Oh, hi, Bean. Were you waiting for me? Do you hate getting locked out? No, no, no. We're coming out. Come on. <laughs> oh, you found a chew? Here's my boys. <laughs> Bless you. We're going to hang. Yeah, let's hang. early morning on Saturday and technically the royal wedding is happening in like two hours back in 2011 I actually woke up early on a work day to watch the previous royal wedding with Prince William and Kate however <laughs> I'm a little older now I'm in my 30s now <laughs> and I think I'm just gonna go to bed <laughs> Because it wouldn't be waking up, it would be staying up all night. I'd be staying up for another two hours. And that's just when the footage is starting. Lord knows it probably won't actually happen until like close to 5 a.m. here. And I'm not about messing up my entire sleep schedule for it. Even though I'm really interested in it, I will just rewatch it when it replays online a bajillion times tomorrow. So I'm interested, but I'm going to adult and just go to bed. So... Signing off for this week, and I will see you guys again. Actually, I won't. <laughs> I won't see you next week with this kind of vlog because we're going to Florida. But I have an idea for our placement vlog on Monday. So there will be a vlog on Monday, but it won't be a weekly vlog. So I will see you two weeks from now with a weekly vlog. Bye!